Okay, so welcome to the Reading Music Basics. Uh, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking a look at the grand staff. So let me get closer here. I have some props. Okay, this is a grand staff. Okay, so now let me talk about the different parts here. Um, you see that you have the G clef and this is the F clef, and I'll explain what those are in just a second. Okay, you see that you have five lines and four spaces in the G clef. We can also call this the treble clef line, treble, T-R-E-B-L-E. And you see that you also have five lines and four spaces in the bass clef, all right, or F clef line, all right? So this is the treble staff, this is the bass staff. You see that we have a bracket, okay, that, or brace that combines these two together, and then when they're combined together with that brace, we call this the grand staff. You also see that we have a bar line here. This is a final bar line. It's a thin one and a thick one. That means that that's the end of our song. So here we basically have a one measure song. Okay? So now this G clef, all right, you see that it's, I like to refer to this as the mama G clef because you see that it wraps its arms right around this line. You also see that it looks like a G, doesn't it? Okay? These are actually fancy ways of writing a G and an F a long time ago. And in this, you can see it kind of looks like an F as well. All right, if you put some lines here where those dots are, you can kind of see that it looks like an F. So that mama G clef wraps around that second line up, and that second line up we call that the G line. And you see that this F clef has a big blob there and then two dots surrounding what? The second line down, and that is the F line. So this the G clef line the F clef line. So G clef shows you where G is, F clef shows you where F is. Now this, if we put some notes on here, this is what the notes would look like. Okay? These are whole notes, right? You'd hold them out for the entire measure, okay? and that's more of a rhythmic thing. Um, and then this is our guidepost G, and that's our guidepost F. Now as soon as we know what our guideposts are, now we can start to uh, read notes that are above it or below it. When you go this way on the staff, you're going up or you're going higher. So that means that if you were to go that way on the staff, you're going this way. Whereas you go, if you go that way in the staff, well, you're going this way. So if we take that note again, that G clef G, right? That G clef G, by the way, is right here, okay? So that's where the G clef G is. The F clef F down here is that one down there. So we have G clef G and F clef F. Those are the two, the two guideposts that we're talking about right now. Okay? G clef G, F clef F. Now, a lot of people call this the treble clef and they call it the bass clef. The reason I like to call it the G clef and the F clef is that it reminds you where G is and where F is. Now, another guidepost. There's one line that goes in between. Okay? And if you take a look at your sheet music, you'll see that I, I wrote out the guideposts, okay? uh, and you'll see that I squashed these together. Because right? really, between this staff and this staff, there is only one line. But to make it easier to read, they uh, uh, spread it out. So this note right here is a C, middle C. This note right here is exactly the same note. It's also middle C. So it makes it a little bit confusing, doesn't it? Because you have this same note, but you know when it's in, written in F clef, it's down lower. When it's written in G clef, it's written up higher. Okay? It is exactly the same note. So what you want to remember is that between those two staffs, okay, those two staves, there's only one line, but they just spread it out to make it easier to read. Because imagine if all the lines were all together like this, it'd be really difficult for you to know, um, you know, know where you were. Uh, let me just fix my cord here. Um, so, if we take a look at the guidepost in the sheet music here, okay, you'll see that we have G, G, okay, and C, C, and then as soon as we move down to the F clef, we have C, C, F, F. Okay, so these are our three guideposts. F clef F, middle C, and G clef G. Okay? So F, C, and G. 
right? Now it is these three notes. It's not these up here. It's not these down here. It's these right here. Now middle C is usually pretty easy to find because it is the C that is closest to the middle of the keyboard. You can see if I play this one, it looks a little too high and this one looks a little too low. Of course the keyboard, you don't see all 88 notes on the screen in the video. But if you go to your keyboard, you'll see that, oh, okay, that looks like the closest one to the middle. Usually where the name is, so this says Yamaha, to the left here is usually the C because the name is usually centered in the middle of, uh, of the keyboard, okay? Same thing on a piano as well. The name is usually right there. Middle C is usually right there, okay? So that is middle C. We have our F, we have our G, okay? Now, as far as what fingers to use, you can really use whatever fingers you want, but maybe something a little bit easier is to put your pinky on the G and your pinky on the F, and then both thumbs are on the C, and when you need to play that C, you either play it with that one or you play it with that one. See how I can just move my fingers out of the way, okay? So now these are half notes. These half notes, um, if you haven't gone through your rhythmic study, go through the rhythmic study, okay? Uh, the half notes we would say do ooh, do ooh. So this would be do ooh, 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 do ooh. Okay? And then when you play it, I would suggest you say the name of the note for right now. So G. G, C, 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 F, F, okay? Just try getting those three notes. Don't worry about trying to read any other notes for right now. Just focus on those three and make sure that you can really pick out those three. Now, what you could do is pick up some sheet music, all right? Go through the book and, and take a look at any of, you know, find all of the G clef Gs, find all of your middle Cs, find all of the F clef Fs, okay? Um, that would be a great exercise to do. You could do it uh, in the sheet music that you have. Uh, you could do it in uh, you know, uh, sheet music in, in any book that you find. Okay? Just try and find all of those notes. Don't worry about what the other notes are for right now. Okay? Last thing is, you'll see that I wrote in the names of the notes above the note names or below them, next to them. Okay? Uh, don't do that normally. Okay? Uh, oftentimes students will come to me and they'll have you know, like the note names written in. Okay? If you need to write in a note name, only write in the first one in the measure or first one on the line, okay? The reason is that if you're constantly looking at, oh, it's a, it's a C, it's a C, it's a G, it's a G, you're not really going to be reading what the notes are. So it's really important that you start to look at that note and in your mind say, oh, that's G, boom, that's C, boom, that's F. Now, one way in which you can also do this, whoops, just tied myself down here. Uh, one way in which you could do this is to just you know, kind of quiz as well. You could take this and you can kind of point, you know, so like you could take, uh, I don't know, here, do I have something pointy like a pen or something? There we go. All right. So use a pen, you can quiz. So you can say, all right, that line, what is it? Okay. That line, what is it? All right. This line, what is it? That line. Okay. Now, for right now, you probably don't know what those other lines are. Don't worry about it. Okay? We'll, we'll talk about that in the rest of this lesson. But if you want a quiz, there are three that you can go through. Right? There's the, um, there's the G clef G. You can actually just use this one. This, I'm going to provide this for you so you can print this out. You can just point to one. Okay, well, what note is that? Oh, boom, that's G. What note is that? Oh, that's C. What's that? Oh, that's C. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's F. Okay? Even better is you can point to those notes and then you could try playing them on the piano, okay? If you're working with, uh, if you're working with a, a student, okay, or your child, uh, you can point to those notes and then you can have them play it. Or if you're just doing it yourself, you can just look at the note quickly and then try and get it down. So, oh, okay, I'm looking at the, at the F. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at the middle C, right? So you want to quickly be able to see those notes and translate them to the piano. All right, I'll see you in the next chapter.